Hey guys, this is Derek and this is another episode of MedHead. So I haven't been able to post in a while just because of finals and uh, just been kind of busy, but I'm hoping that can change uh, with this summer. So tomorrow I will be flying out to Texas or Lubbock, Texas for the internship with JAM uh, with, at Texas Tech Medical School. And this video is going to be telling you guys all about that. While I'm in Lubbock, I will be filming and, you know, just uh, documenting what I'm doing, my experiences, so you guys can see uh, what the internship does entail. And I'm really excited about that. So, uh, first, uh, I just want to get out of the way that you do have to be a Texas resident to be a part of the program. It is a Texas government funded program, so uh, I'll talk about requirements later on in the video, but let's talk about some of the benefits first. One of the biggest benefits that a lot of people think about when they think about the program is the fact that you get automatic admission to a Texas medical school. Uh, that is a really big thing I'm really thankful for. Um, and there's other things like internships. So you are required to do two internships. Uh, you have the opportunity to do two internships. Uh, one will be the summer, uh, the summer between your sophomore and your junior year, and then you do one between your junior year and your senior year. So I'll be heading off to that, uh, the sophomore and junior year, summer one, tomorrow, so that'll be great. Another one, uh, the benefits is that you get a stipend for that internship, which is great. Um, and along with the stipend, throughout your undergrad and medical school career, you're gonna um, receive assistance, a medical school uh, scholarship to help you get through that. Um, you know, undergrad stipends, things that are gonna help make sure that you're financially uh, stable so you can focus on studying and uh, just becoming a physician. So another benefit is you get MCAT courses and MCAT resources all paid for and frankly that is a really big benefit right now for me because I'll be taking that uh, soon. Another benefit is just uh, mentorship from champ students, med students, uh, admission committees from these med schools, uh, just an overall deeper understanding of the process and beyond. So with all those uh, great benefits there are some requirements to be able to apply and be in the program. So there is uh, the fact that you have to be a Texas resident um, and you also, these are the big two, you also have to be economically disadvantaged uh, or deemed economically disadvantaged by the JAMP program. Uh, to be deemed economically disadvantaged, you can, either or you can either qualify for a federal Pell Grant from FAFSA or either your EFC or your estimated family contribution from FAFSA has to be up to 800 or lower, it has to be around. Uh, it can only be up to 800. So, uh, you can get those things done with the FAFSA, uh, check your reports on that so you can see if you get that done. There's also another requirement, I believe, that if you took the ACT or SAT, they're going to need to see those scores uh, from your high school. And I think the, the benchmark that they want you to meet is the, whatever year you took it, whatever the average was for the state of Texas, I think, just make sure yours was higher than that and I think you should be good for that. And there are a few other requirements that I'll make sure to put down the link for you guys to check out, but those are the big ones that you wanna make sure you have. Uh, when you apply, you do have to be a freshman to a sophomore around there. If you apply as a freshman, you will be admitted to the early admission track, and if you apply as a sophomore, that's kind of the normal time. I applied about the first two weeks of my sophomore year, and you just wanna make sure that you get those things in. Now the application opens up I believe around May 1st, 2018, so that's past. <laughs> so you do have time still because it closes October 1st, 2018. So you still have a few months. Uh, honestly, if you started working now, you would still be have a great amount of time. So uh, make sure you get those in because it is a kind of a lengthy application. Uh, it is kind of like a junior um, kind of mock of an actual uh, med school application and it is very similar to it as as uh, is the interview because you will be interviewing at a med school. I interviewed at uh, UT Southwestern and you can see that video um, also uh, I'll provide the link for that if you want to see the interview for that. So you just want to make sure that you fit those requirements and you should be good. Also in the description I'll put a link to a JAMP application handbook it is basically something you want to look through thoroughly uh, to kind of get know what you're getting yourself into. 
uh, some of the other requirements, uh, go in detail to what they're looking for, and just overall what the application process is. And it'll give you a head start and kind of a better understanding of what you need to know about this process. But that said, I'm hoping that this video kind of, you know, just, uh, you know, let people know that this program is out there. A lot of people don't know about it until it's too late. So I'm hoping that uh, you guys who qualify for it uh, are able to get in your applications and see if you can get in. It'd be awesome. Uh, I'm really excited for this internship, uh, dissecting cadavers. <laughs> we, <laughs> we get clinical experience. You know, shadowing is just everything you could uh, want, honestly. In an internship so I'm really excited for it and I'm gonna get some packing done because I'm actually not completely finished but I'm almost done so we should get that done <laughs>